Canon has just announced its two newest cameras, the EOS R50 and the EOS R8. Both cameras are tailor-made for content creators, travelers, and vloggers who are looking to upgrade from their boring old smartphone to a dedicated hybrid mirrorless camera. The R50 is an APS-C R-mount camera that is packed with all of the photography, video, and live streaming functionality that a burgeoning content creator could need, while the R8 is its full-frame bigger brother with even more impressive photography and video specs. And launching with these cameras are two new zoom lenses as well, the RFS 55-210 f5 and the RF 24-50 f4.5. There's a lot to go over with all these announcements, so let's dive in starting with the R50. The R50 is a seriously compact 24 megapixel R-mount APS-C camera. It may be positioned to those who are new to mirrorless cameras, but that doesn't mean it skimps on any of the essentials or even some of the quality of life features you'd expect from more premium cameras. It can shoot oversampled uncropped 4K at up to 30 frames per second with an hour record limit, or uncropped 1080p at 120 frames per second. It also features Canon's tack sharp dual pixel autofocus, and when combined with a fully articulating touchscreen on this camera, you can safely vlog and trust that you or your subject will be kept in focus. On the note of autofocus, this camera also features a new close-up demo mode, which allows the camera to instantly snap its focus onto any object placed in front of the lens and then back to your face when the object is removed. The autofocus also works great for photography. With 651 focusing areas and subject detection for people, animals, and vehicles, this camera enables first-time mirrorless shooters to only have to focus on their composition and not focus on, well, their focus. Also, with a maximum 15 frames per second shooting in electronic shutter mode, this camera also punches well above its class when compared to similarly priced mirrorless competitors. On the body itself, you get a mic jack for plugging in dedicated microphones, a micro HDMI port for video output, and USB-C for charging and webcam functionality. The fully articulating touch LCD on the back features 1.62 million dots, and the EVF features 2.36 million dots. Many cameras in this category don't even have an EVF, let alone one that is this high resolution. But for any creator who plans to take a lot of pictures, you'll thank yourself later for giving yourself the option to use it. Finally, the hot shoe mount on the top is also multifunctional, meaning that it can seamlessly communicate with certain mics and other accessories like speed lights. But if that all sounds intimidating, it also has a built-in pop-up flash for those who want to keep it simple. And while the R50 only has digital image stabilization for video and not dedicated IBIS, when paired with a stabilized lens, vloggers should still be able to get smooth results which actually leads us to the first new lens Canon also announced. The 55-210 f5 is an RFS zoom lens with image stabilization and STM focusing. While it definitely features a robust telephoto focus range, it also boasts some excellent close-up focusing as well, with a minimum focusing distance of 2.4 feet. Its stabilization is rated at 4.5 stops lens only, but when paired with a camera with built-in IBIS like the EOS R7, this jumps to 7 stops. And despite being on the larger side, it's still surprisingly lightweight, weighing even less than the comparable RFS 18-150mm. But for those who want to make the jump into full-on full-frame photography and video, Canon also announced the new EOS R8. This 24 megapixel full-frame camera shares the same sensor as the recently released EOS R6 Mark II, meaning you can get the same excellent image quality as Canon's premium mirrorless camera, but without the premium price. On the video side, the R8 is capable of shooting up to 60 frames per second in 4K and up to 180 frames per second at 1080p. Pure 4K video is uncropped, oversampled from 6K, and has a maximum record limit of two full hours. And the video the R8 records is high quality as well, up to 10 bit 422 with the ability to shoot Canon Log 3 and HDR PQ. It also features the same impressive dual pixel autofocus along with detect only AF modes, movie digital IS, and for content creators, you also get an array of aspect markers to reformat your content later for social media, including CinemaScope, 1x1, and 9x16 vertical. On the photography side, it might be even more impressive. It has a 6 frame per second electronic first curtain and a whopping 40 frames per second electronic shutter. In its raw burst mode, it also includes Canon's life-saving, okay, that's maybe a bit hyperbolic, photo-saving, pre-shooting support. This feature allows the camera to start recording images half a second prior to the moment you press the shutter release button, which can absolutely be the difference between getting the shot and missing it when shooting sports or action photography. On the body itself, you get a similar array of ports and features to the R50. Mic jack, micro HDMI, USB-C for charging and webcam, a fully articulating LCD and high resolution EVF, with the addition of a remote port and a headphone jack. Finally, alongside this new full frame camera, Canon has also announced a new full frame zoom lens, the RF 24-50 f4.5. Just like the 55-210, this lens is also image stabilized and is super lightweight, just over half the weight of the RF 24-105. Featuring the same 4.5 stops of stabilization lens only, this lens will seriously smooth out shakes in the photos and video on a camera like the R8, and on a camera with IBIS like the R6 Mark II, 
This lens will provide an impressive seven stops of image stabilization for buttery smooth video and photos. And that is a very brief look at all of the new cameras and lenses from Canon. We had a blast taking them out for a day to put them through their paces, and we think content creators will enjoy using them as well. The R50 is a great option for new photographers or content creators who want an accessible first camera that is still feature-packed enough to grow with them as they get more experienced. And the R8 is similarly a great first full-frame camera that features an excellent image sensor and impressive photo and video specs to go with it. And the new zoom lenses Canon announced alongside them are also flexible and affordable options that would make great first lenses for either of these. But what do you think of Canon's new cameras and zoom lenses? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.